In that Democratic gubernatorial primary, it was a heavyweight matchup, really, between Dan Feltis and Andrew Volinsky. And as the night dragged on, John, we could see the numbers coming in more and more for Feltis. But then when he came out to give his speech, he decided to declare victory before that race had been called by the AP. And we saw quite a reaction out of Andrew Volinsky. What exactly is unfolding now with this race? Well, I think right now uh, there has to be some fence mending. Uh, Andrew Volinsky said he was going to wait until this morning to... Uh, See the, see the results before he decides. Tomorrow they're having a, a unity event, the Democratic Party. Uh, I assume by then that Andrew Volinsky uh, will come out and will uh, be on board with, with Dan Feltis, but the fact that Feltis came out ahead of Volinsky and just declared victory uh, could leave a little bit of a bad taste in the mouth of the many supporters that Volinsky has, and uh, Dan Feltis is gonna need every one of them to take on and have a chance of defeating uh, incumbent Chris Sununu. Yeah, and you know that Volinsky crowd overlaps quite a bit with the Bernie Sanders crowd. And we know from 2016, uh, a lot of times they have to be brought back into the fold. There's a lot of uh, fence mending, as you mentioned, that has to be done. Uh, irritating those folks doesn't always work out in the end. We'll see how this one unfolds. You mentioned uh, the contest in November, this uh, Feltis versus Sununu matchup. These are two guys who have butted heads at the State House for a long time. I think we're going to be hearing a lot about uh, bills that they fought over, obviously the COVID response, but this is kind of the matchup that a lot of people thought we were going to get when this contest first started. Exactly. And regardless of which of these Democrats had, had won this race, uh, the Sununu campaign and Governor Sununu is going to talk about an income tax because the Governor Sununu, Dan Feltis's paid family medical leave program, as, as you well know, uh, is, in his words, an income tax. That's always a matter for debate. But that's going to be a big issue. Uh, environmental issues will be, will be big. And um, obviously, treatment of the COVID-19 pandemic and especially the governor's uh, sort of um, approach to leave it to discretion of the cities and towns and school districts and how, how to reopen the schools. Dan Feltis had a little more strong state role. Yeah, I think that you'll see Feltis press on that. Of course, Chris Sununu is sitting on about $800,000 in campaign cash, as you reported, John, in that last filing period. So it's a behemoth that either uh, one of these Democrats will be going up against. Let's go back to you guys.